There's been a lot of reporting about Tesla's full self-driving lately, about the changes that it's made. I've seen a few videos. This is the most interesting one that I've seen. It was a Tesla that did something unexpected in result, or well, in response to avoiding a head-on collision. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. And isn't this interesting what's happening with Tesla's full self-driving? It's definitely very different to what it used to be. All of a sudden, it seems to really be acting like what a person would. And really, here's a, a, a good example of that. A Tesla with full self-driving 12.3.3 drove in a really unusual way to avoid a collision. Now, when I first saw this video, I didn't think too much of it and I kind of went, oh, storm in a teapot. Then I slowed it down. I paused it right as the vehicle is approaching the Tesla. It turns into the Tesla. You don't see it unless you pause the video right before this happens. Now, there's a truck coming in the oncoming traffic and it's ta it's almost taking up. It's basically in the middle of the road. And right as the Tesla goes to pass this truck or pickup truck, it actually turns into the Tesla in order to avoid a couple of parked cars. It didn't actually need to do that. It had time for the Tesla to go past and for it to continue on the trajectory it was going and then to go around. But it, this guy just did anyway. So really a hyper aggressive truck, pickup truck driver who had the Tesla been hit by him, he would have unquestionably been at fault. I watched the video about 10 times, paused at slow-mo. And the interesting thing is the Tesla vehicle, which is, is under supervision, but it's driving under its full self-driving. It's not actually using hardware 4.0 either, just so you know. It drives onto the curb. So sort of the tire goes on just over the curb, which is a shallow curb, which means that it didn't damage the vehicle, almost onto the grass and completely avoids a collision, then drives straight back onto the road and continues on as normal. Now Tesla have responded to this video with something really, really interesting. The situation was responded to, in fact, by Ashok Elaswamy, an AI autopilot expert at Tesla. He said the final version of this is the trolley problem. And you might have heard of the trolley problem. It's, it's been talked about a bit lately. I'll get to that in just a minute. The trolley problem, though, represents a difficult choice that has to be made in a situation where harm is caused to possibly both people, which is quite a challenge. In this case, though, the Tesla has to drive onto the curb to avoid an on, well, basically um, a collision. But because uh, this situation could have been solved, you know, with uh, simply driving on over the, under the curb, it, it means it's not really a good illustration of the trolley problem. Some people responded to this video and some people have said that the Tesla vehicle should have honked his horn in this situation to alert the other car that there is a potential for a problem that may cut down on potential accidents. I read that comment, I strongly disagree. I'm pretty sure the guy knew exactly what he was doing, saw the Tesla coming, decided to just drive straight into it anyway, and, and made the assumption the Tesla would um, put in, basically drive itself off the road to avoid him because he's driving a big truck and I'm big and tough. That's what my interpretation was. So I don't think honking the horn would have helped. Another person said that this was the best poison to drink in this situation, meaning the car took the path of the least damage, made the right decision. Um, and honestly, I don't think everyone would have done this. I don't think everyone would have just um, made a quick decision here and avoided this collision. If people, the average person was driving, sometimes this situation just makes you get scared. You're like, what the hell's going on? Whoa, bang, and someone hits you. So I think that the system really did prove here that sometimes, at this point, full self-driving is safer than a human being driving a car, which is quite a surprise. Dave Mack said that if he had been five inches closer, there would have been a collision, as in five inches closer to the oncoming vehicle. It's not far. And that stopping wouldn't have done anything. I agree with him. He thinks his Tesla made the best move it possibly could have, especially since the curb wasn't very tall. He thought the truck ahead was going to stop uh, it didn't or that it wasn't going to turn into him anyway. Uh, so he was pretty surprised by what happened. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know what you think. But if you're curious to know what the trolley problem is, well, this is just how autonomous cars will handle complex situations where a crash just can't be avoided. Now, some people say that this is the reason that full autonomy will never happen. 
Uh, of course, uh, those are the same kind of people who said that cars would never happen, would always be riding horses, or they probably said that horses wouldn't happen. We wouldn't learn how to ride a horse. It'd be too hard. So the naysayers are, are always going to be there, but this has become their, their recent crux. The trolley problem means that full autonomy will never happen. The, the trolley problem is a complex moral decision scenario, says talknews.com, that represents a difficult choice for a runaway train or trolley on the tracks. In this scenario, harm is going to come to five people or to one. Someone must make a decision on what to do, but there is only one of two options, and they're both bad. One's just possibly more bad than the other one. In the case of a Tesla with full self-driving or any autonomous vehicle, what happens if the car that is driving in busy traffic and it runs into a situation where it has to make a choice between harming a person, an animal, a building, a structure, or something else, or deciding to swerve and potentially harm the inhabitants of the car by crashing into something. This is basically a really complex problem. Human beings um, really, to be honest, would probably be worse than it, worse than a computer at solving this out. They don't have the uh, emotional capacity to make, generally, to make a really fast decision. It's normally a fight or flight decision, and it's not really logical usually, not always. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I believe a computer would become much better than a human at solving or coming up with the best possible result for the trolley problem. It can process data much, much faster and can decide which one of say 20 possible scenarios is going to cause the least possible harm. And that's the reason why I think the trolley problem is really not that relevant. The theorized scenario has obviously come up here where this car had to either hit this truck or drive onto the curb. And who knows? I mean, in the theory of the trolley problem really playing out, Maybe there's someone riding a bike on the curb. Then what do you do? Well, then I think you have to allow yourself to get hit. But of course, the question is here, what would your autonomous car do in this situation? Or what would it do in response to another autonomous car? Which is having to make a very quick decision, which is extremely complex. By the way, guys, it's really good to see full self-driving continue to improve. And I, that's what I'm seeing here. That's my main takeaway. What are your thoughts on the trolley problem? Thanks for watching.